All right, you guys. Uh, the phone died last night when I was on time lapse, beating the crap out of this tunnel. Be straight up honest with everybody. I, I don't know metal work. I ain't a fucking metal worker. Uh, I don't know metal. So I'm winging this the best that I can. I know I said that this tunnel is going to come out, blah, blah, blah. Th this sucker is not coming out. I'm going to weld it so that it's in there and the trans can come in and out very easily. When this is done, it'll look good. When it's in the car and all that stuff, it, it'll look good. But the process of getting there may not be so pretty. And primarily that derives from my inability to work with metal. I just don't know how to do it and I ain't that good at it. So I came out here today or tonight to work on it. Um, I've been thinking about it all day. I've been looking at pictures of freaking fox bodies and this, that, or the other. So what I have may or may not be goofy looking to some people, but uh, I don't really care. Um, I want the trans to be able to come straight out because this thing's on motor plates and I don't want to have no problems. Um, once the chassis guy runs freaking roll uh, bars all through this thing and, and there's lines for intercooler boxes and all this stuff, man, this thing ain't coming out. I mean, the, we're going to be driving this car and it ain't just a freaking trailer it blast it and it's just not going to be one of those cars it's going to have seats in it and seat belts and freaking it'll have a stereo in it so this thing's just not coming out i'm going to flip the camera around and show you what i got i'll probably put you on a time lapse just for a little bit i got to go in here in about 30 minutes but um don't judge me when you see what i got going and it is what it is man i just ain't good at this at this stuff so here's where we're at, okay? Um, I'm making this back template here. Um, I've begun, you know, like welding sides on and stuff. I will finish weld this and cut it and cut the metal out on the inside that I don't need and I'll make it look very nice when it's done, but this is just in the process. So I've made myself tons of room to be able to pull this transmission straight back. Nothing is gonna hit in here. Um, this thing may look goofy, and I may only put this in with a few tacks, and the reason being is because, I'll show you here. If I can get this thing out. The reason being is, look at how close this is. The, the, out, the tail shaft, I mean, it's just, it's very close. And I have a feeling that this main, this tunnel here may need to be modified. So with that said, with when this thing that I've made is in here um, and I get the rear end put in, once the rear end's put in, if, if this center tunnel needs to be modified, uh, I will just like do this and freaking I'll bend some metal so that it's kind of square and We'll raise this up so that the drive shaft clears. But that is where I'm at. Um, I got mad at it last night and kind of beat the top of it down and went inside and just uh, wasn't happy with myself. But that's just because I just don't have the skills or abilities to do what I want to do. And I certainly can't afford to pay somebody to do what I want to do. So I will get it nice. By the time this damn thing's done, ain't nobody gonna tell it, it'll be nice, I'll get it nice, but the damn thing ain't coming in and out. I can just tell you that right now. Uh, the transmission is gonna have to come straight out, and um, it is what it is. Put you on a time lapse, I'm gonna work a little bit more, and then I'm going to bed. <music> my butt in bed I gotta get up in like four hours but here's what we got going 
And like I say, if this needs to come up, we'll just do like the same type of band and, whoosh, and then connect into, into this. But I really should have been saving this for the bench rather than trying to do it all here, but I'm trying to get as much of this thing welded up here as I can before I take it over the bench and start burning on it. So I got to work tomorrow, which is Sunday, the 5th, and then when I probably go have dinner with my oldest daughter, and then when I get back from that, doing that, uh, I may come back out here tomorrow night and get with it, so. I'll catch up with you guys then. Okay, uh, this is looking underneath the car now. I'm gonna change, there's one thing I'm gonna change. We're gonna keep working forward, but there's one thing I'm gonna change. Um, it is Monday, the whatever day, June 6th, or D-Day, I think, 5th? I can't remember, D-Day. Um, at any rate, uh, there's one thing I'm gonna change. So I was talking to you guys about the one nut that was hard to get to and um, it still looks like it could be hard to get to. Um, I can feel it better than I did with my template. You're not gonna be able to see it because the phone's not gonna focus. But it, it's up in there. But I've got the tunnel marked and I'm gonna make it I'm gonna end up cutting it about right here. And then I'll start working my way up to the factory firewall. And that should give us a little more room as well. But um, if you look at this thing as a whole, as it is now, a whole lot more room now. Um, the metal just bends different than uh, the paper. And so it ended up getting a little bit taller, which is fine. Um, gives you a lot of room and I'm getting ready to see how easy it is to slide it straight back. Um, I cut more, I'm gonna cut some more of this stuff out over here and I'll really, I'll really be good. Now I'm just hoping I don't have to modify the rest of the tunnel back where the drive shaft goes. But if you look right here, um, you guys seen up top, you know, this piece comes back, I don't know, about right here. So I will lose some of that stuff and it'll have a nice cone going down give lots of room for the, gosh, my filming's bad. Give lots of room for the yoke right here. Um, but once this stuff's gone and out of here, then yeah, this, this deal is gonna, it should come straight on back. I'm probably gonna lose this piece and there's a company that makes a, a little smaller one. It'll still work the same, but I don't need this big uh, lockout solenoid. So, probably won't get too much done today. I leave for training for four days. I got some, some training I gotta go take care of. Um, but I'll at least get the tunnel cut and then I'll start making uh, templates to go up towards that factory firewall. And uh, I'll put you guys on the phone, on the uh, stand and we'll pull this trans straight back and make sure that I can already tell there's a lot of good room here and I like it.
All right, you guys. I don't even know where I'm at. I tried to film a little bit last night, and the somebody called me. I think my friend Jason must have called me, and uh, it stopped filming. So I screwed around a little bit last night. I'm screwing around tonight. I'll show you where I'm at. I'm completely lost with working with metal, bending metal. Not my uh, cup of tea whatsoever. Um, I got the back part of the tunnel where I like it, and I'm trying to work on the front. So let me flip this thing around and I'll show you. So I've had this back piece done and now I'm working on this here. Uh, I've welded in like a inch and a half piece that I can grab onto with this. The, the idea here is something like this. Um, that should give me some room. Obviously I gotta get it to fit. I did. My father-in-law gave me an English wheel and I said I would never use it. And I did pull it out and I did use it. I didn't film any of that because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. And the wheels are all rusty because it's been out sitting outside. But I used this to kind of get the shape. Um, and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna get a Clico in the front so that I know exactly where it needs to be. I feel like I'm trying to fight it right now. So I'm gonna get a Clico in it and um, kind of get it in, in there the way I like it. And then um, I, the goal here is gonna be that the whole tunnel, I'll weld it all up on the bench. And then when I put it in, I'll finally weld it into the car and then that'll be that, so. Engineer, where are you headed? Carry me back to Tennessee Oh, I got a little girl who's been waiting Promise that she's married Mr. Kane, we leave the sea I'll shovel coal Okay, so I got that in got attacked with the old MIG, but I'm going to get it on the bench and I'm gonna take all this bad boy together. I'll show you what I got now. So here's what we got. Uh, I think the line here might be a little bit of an illusion, but hey, if it's okay, uh, my shifter hole kind of looks a little sideways, but it is what it is. I am not a metalworking guy whatsoever. Beer drinking guy, maybe. Metalworking guy, not so much. <clears throat> so I'll get this thing up on the bench, get the old TIG out, and I'm gonna take this whole thing out and then we'll set it back in there. Um, also, before I start TIGging, I'm gonna put it back in there real quick, lift the car up, and we're gonna check the clearance underneath, see how much room we got to work with. All right, we are under the, I got the dang light on up there, so it's kind of washing out, but we're under the car now. And we got good room, way more than we had. Um, the one right there that we were worried about or that I was kind of worried about, real easy to get to now. Plenty of room for this thing to slide right back. And fit this T56. Uh, we got to get it up on the bench and get it welded out. And then when we final weld it, we'll have to come in here and make sure that all this is trimmed up nice on both sides so that when you're working in here you're not going to cut yourself
All right, you guys. Long time no videos, man. Um, I ain't got nothing but excuses. I was on vacation a lot in May, and then I changed to day shift, and truth be told, I come home, and uh, it's really hard to come out here and start wrenching. I'm gone about 14 hours a day, so by the time you get home, wife makes dinner, and you do that, you're like, you're done. You, you don't want to do anything, but um, it's Saturday the 25th. I'm out here, and pretty much what I got going on is I've got the tunnel uh, welded out, not in the car, but welded out. And one of the things that I didn't think about was getting the bell housing on and off with a clutch. So I've pulled the engine out. I have to trim the firewall area, which I'll show you. I've got to trim this thing first of all, so I know the bell housing is going to go in and out fine. Um, once that's done, and I know that I can get that done i'll bolt a clutch and a flywheel to this mock engine that i have and uh we'll go from there and see make sure that i can get that bell up in there with no issues if i cannot i'm gonna have to cut more out of my firewall which i don't want to do i'm trying to keep the firewall as stock appearing as possible um, and op make that opening bigger so that the bell can come in and out with a clutch on it so um i have worked on things that i haven't filmed because like i said i get home i'm tired and the last thing I want to do is set the camera up and do all that stuff. I just come out here, work for a couple hours, and then go in, shower, go to bed, get up, blah, 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 blah. So I'll put you on a time lapse. I'm going to trim this piece that I'm getting ready to show you here. I got to trim it off just to assure that I can get the bell on and off like this. We'll check it. If it's good, we'll move forward. I think I need to raise the drive shaft tunnel in this car. I want to lower it some more. Um, I'm at one of those things where I'm nervous to lower it too much because I don't want it to ride like ass when I'm towing a trailer. But uh, the crankshaft center line needs to go down a little more and I want the car a little bit lower. So you know, the only way to achieve that is probably gonna go down another half inch in the rear and then I may have to order some different springs for the front. I believe right now they're 12 inch, so I may have to order some 10 inch springs get this thing sitting a little bit lower um still have any mess with the rear end you guys i just been uh, working and weekends are like we gotta do this we gotta do that we gotta go here we gotta go there i mean anybody with a family knows how it goes it's tough to always get your butt out here and commit to working on this dang thing but i'm trying to push myself you guys i'm trying i really want to get this car <clears throat> to where i can get it to the roll cage guy and um, it just seems like every time I come out here, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so much work to do. Um, and I get discouraged. Um, also get discouraged with how much freaking money everything is. Um, that's enough to discourage a guy too. Everything's just really expensive. Um, makes it tough. So anyways, I'm gonna quit babbling. Um, spin a camera around, put on time lapse. I'm gonna get this thing trimmed up best that I can. Um, go from there. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, long time no YouTube video. So, get a few things out of the way. Um, then we'll see what's been done to the car. And then I'll go over where we're at now. It's July 6th, Wednesday, 2022. Um, I just pretty much been trying to work on the car up until about a week ago without filming. Like I've, I don't know if I've said this before, but I went to day shift and it's been a lot harder to work on the car on day shift. By the time I get home, have dinner with the wife and kids, 
I want to go to sleep. But um, I've been pushing myself to come out to the shop. So um, we'll go ahead and put what I've accomplished on film now. And then once that's done, we'll come back. So as you can see, started working on this trans tunnel. Please don't judge my work. I, I, I don't know how to work metal at all, okay? Um, I do not have a break. I don't have very, hardly any metal working stuff or sheet metal. Uh, I did use the English wheel in this deal, which I never thought I would ever use. Um, my father-in-law gave that to me before he moved to Colorado. Didn't ever think I would use it, ended up using it. Um, I now have the tunnel, the drive shaft tunnel is raised up. Um, I don't have a metal brake. I bent that on on the bench over here with some metal and some clamps. Uh, about a week ago, uh, I wrecked an electric bike <laughs> and dislocated my shoulder. So um, I may have to get surgery. I'm still waiting to get the MRI. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Um, it's weird. Some things don't bother me at all. I can come out here and do this, that, or the other, and then I'll go to put my shirt on and it'll be, oh my gosh, that hurts. So I'm hoping no surgery, just some physical therapy. Um, doctor pretty much told me after the age of 40, when you dislocate something, you tear up the rotator cuff and all the other stuff, the cartilage. So I'm hoping that is not the case because that's gonna slow me down tremendously on this car and I do not wanna be slowed down. Um, I have been out here last couple days just doing some easy stuff, some welding, some stuff that's not really hard on me. So I feel like I might be okay. Um, I'm gonna try to get videos back up and going every week, I've just been, you know, this shift change has kind of slowed me down a little and um, it's summertime too, so it's hot coming out here in the heat. That's another, that's another thing. Um, but as you can see, I'll show you underneath the car too. Uh, that deal's all extended. No, it's not round. Maybe I should have done round. Um, I don't know. As long as it clears the drive shaft, that's all I really care about. So let me get the car up in the air. I'll show you underneath and then this is probably a short video, but we'll try to do better on the next one and then we'll give you an update on my shoulder. Um, called in this week. They don't have my orders yet to do the MRI. So I'm still waiting on that. But once I get it, uh, then we'll know what's gonna happen, whether I'm gonna be down and out or physical therapy. So we'll get the car in the air and show you what we got. So I do not have the trans in, obviously, but um, pretty much have a whole lot more room to work with. Trans can come out easily. Um, this is this is probably raised up, I don't know, probably two and a half to three inches from what it was. Um, here is what the stock piece was that I cut out. Super tiny. not going to accommodate anything of any significant size but um yeah she is raised up and there's a whole bunch more room in here um trans comes in and out nicely um again i'm not a metal worker so please forgive anything you see that you think looks shaky but i'm not building this car for you i'm building it for me um, and I want to retain the stock floor pans as much as I can so that I can do that 25.5. Trying not to show up with a Pro Mod when everybody went in stick shift class has full interior. But that's where we're at, you guys. On my next video, I'm going to get all this bar and all this crap out of here that I have mocked up for the Ryan. And we're going to um, get the Ryan set in here, get it centered, get the spring um, perches on it. Uh, all that stuff, and then uh, we'll freaking order some axles, and I still have some metal work to do back here where the anti-roll bar and all that is. So I want to lose some of this unnecessary stuff and then make a, like a hump 
because this car is going to run some separation with the anti roll bar. So the anti roll bar arms are going to be something up like that. And so I want to make some nice bends to the sheet metal to accommodate that so that, that those arms, when they're up, aren't going to interfere with anything. So sorry for not uploading. Um, like I say, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it's easier just to come out here <clears throat> and start working without filming. And I know that's totally against trying to build your YouTube channel, but it's just been very tough to get my couple hours in because when you're filming, you got to stop and reset the camera and this and that. And so you just don't get a bunch done. And I'm going to commit myself to get back on my schedule. May knocked me off it completely. Um, June, trying to adjust to the schedule. So I'm going to try to get on it and make it happen. Thank you guys for watching. Um, may do some new shirts with maybe some saying something a little more simpler. Um, thanks for everybody that's bought shirts for me. It's crazy that anybody wants to wear my junk. But maybe coming up with some new shirts. So um, stay tuned for that and stay tuned for the next one.